Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. In this video, I'm going to show you a mod that I think is better than Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, a mod that is very underrated but that does a lot of things better than 1212 including a more balanced and realistic economy, actual medieval cities on the campaign map and in battles, and more. Medieval Warfare is a mod being developed by Axe that honestly I'm enjoying right now a lot more than 1212 AD. It's constant constantly being updated and there are plenty of factions that are ready to go and have fun with. So today's video is showcasing this brilliant mod and giving you all the reasons why if you enjoy playing 1212 AD, you will absolutely love playing Medieval Warfare. So let's get started. Medieval Warfare is set in 1220 AD and includes 25 excellent factions. The Golden Horde, Latin Empire, Empire of Nicaea, Sicily, Genoa, Castile, Venice, France, Scotland, England, Holy Roman Empire, Lithuania, Bohemia, Hungary and Poland, the Crusader factions of Jerusalem and the Teutonics, Denmark, the Ayyubids, Almohads, Abbasids and the Salchuks of Rum, and the Slavic principalities of Kiev, Novgorod, Garod and Vladimir Suzdal. A lot of these factions at the moment have unique unit rosters, excellent starting positions and circumstances, and brilliant historical characters that are recruitable. The first main point of difference for Medieval Warfare is the immersion and attention to historical authenticity. When you go on the campaign map, you'll see that many cities, many settlements have medieval walls and unique building assets like cathedrals. The cities are almost completely different to how they look and vanilla, which is just awesome. This isn't just a cosmetic feature on the campaign map either, by the way. When you play a siege battle, you'll see the city walls are properly medieval. We have medieval arrow towers, new buildings in the city, and unique central buildings as well. For me, this is absolutely huge, and I love the fact that Axe made a point of making this a feature of this mod first and foremost, before even getting factions ready. Even the Middle Eastern cities look completely different and unique, which, I mean, I know 1212 AD is working on the Western Roman Empire cities right now, hopefully to be released this year, but I don't see this side of the map getting the same treatment for a while yet, maybe even into next year. The immersion this adds to the campaign and medieval warfare, and to battles as well, is immense. It feels more like a medieval mod with this simple yet super important feature. Another great bit of attention to detail here is these recruits recruitable characters. Many of the factions in the mod start with and throughout the campaign get access to unique historical hero characters. Edward the Black Prince for England, William Wallace, a melee infantry specific hero unit for Scotland, or Joan of Arc, a unique general for France. All these characters that on the campaign map provide a unique presence and on the battlefield give your troops specific boosts and just look amazing. I mean, the character models are seriously so well well done. Another mod feature that really ups the immersion is unique chapter missions and events. 1212 AD has this to a certain extent of course with unique conditions that let you form new empires and some events like the Crusades but nothing like what Axi has done here for medieval warfare. As the Mongols your first mission is to destroy the Khwarezmian Empire. There is a detailed description as to why and the context to the mission. There are also side missions with it including various troops to recruit, various cities to raise, etc. and all together give you an engaging and immersive direction to take your campaign to. Obviously, you can have a sandbox type playthrough, but this element of historical immersion isn't something you get from 1212 AD yet and really sets this mod apart. The next reason why I've been playing a lot more Medieval Warfare lately is balance. Unlike in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, it's not easy to make money and unit recruitment and upkeep is a lot more difficult to maintain. In 1212 AD, it's incredibly easy to start building, trading, and getting full stacks of armies ready to invade neighboring factions. But in Medieval Warfare, you need to be more strategic and think about how you want to invest your money, where to start expanding first, and who to 
have positive relations with. It reminds me a lot of Divide and Impera for Rome 2 in terms of you can get yourself into a really sticky situation if you don't play your cards right. As England, for example, you pretty much start with cheap levy units and not a lot of income either. If you want to start expanding, you need to focus on building your economy and making friends. And even when you get access to dismounted knights and other higher tier units, they are expensive to recruit and super expensive to maintain. It all starts adding up quite quickly. As a similar faction in 1212 AD, you can pretty much start recruiting stacks of armies right from the get-go, which for me is immersion breaking. So to see this slower paced and more strategic gameplay is much better. Another gameplay feature that I find in Medieval Warfare is better is AI. Army recruitment is really top notch, so you're always going to be up against well equipped armies on the battlefield. Campaign diplomacy is difficult as well and requires things like arranged marriages, offering to join wars, etc. And during wars, the AI opponent is super aggressive, often landing armies on my shores, besieging cities with large forces, which is really great to see. I had Provence declare war on me as England and attack Bordeaux, which was not ideal at the time, but the way they went about it and me attempting to defend the city against insurmountable odds was just an amazing experience and so much more immersive than two armies attacking my city navally in 1212 AD. And then we have the battles and the best unit visuals I've ever seen in a medieval mod. One of the most worked on areas in this mod is unit and individual soldier diversity and it is so noticeable when you go into a battle and have a closer look at each soldier you can really see how much detail has been added in how much work has gone into making individuals look unique with a variety of hairstyles faces helmets shields weapons horses everything is as unique as possible so a lot of work has clearly gone into it the only thing here is not every faction has gotten this treatment yet, but when you go into the custom battles, you can see most of the Western European factions, the Islamic factions, the Teutonics and Mongols, and a few others have a massive variety of units across different categories. And when you have a look at them in the battle, you can see clearly how unique they look from each other. There are, of course, recruitable characters as well, which you can go in there and check out. People like Joan of Arc, Edward the Black Prince, or Mehmet II are all just amazing to me and makes this mod feel a lot more medieval than 1212 AD. Finally, guys, I want to mention that Medieval Warfare started off as a mod Axie wanted to make for himself. It's a passion project. So the mod is actually getting updated all the time with new units, new characters, and it's being done faction by faction so that every new faction that is being worked on and gets completed is in a really enjoyable and complete state. He's currently working on the Islamic factions and the units added so far are just immense. They really do change up the game, so I highly recommend you check them out. All of that being said, Medieval Warfare doesn't have as many campaign mechanics, but it does have everything else and more, which is why at the moment, I prefer it over Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD. It's got a very bright future, and with its current rate of development, I have no doubt more campaign mechanics will get added in very soon. And that's it for today, guys. I've added a link to the first Steam page below, but if you want to try the mod, you need to contact the mod developer Axe directly. I've added a link to the Discord channel as well in the video description, so get in there, say hello, and give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and if you did, give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.